Today I'm going to show you that all atheists are fake. Wait a second. Something's not right here. You were just making it look like you were playing. You're a phony! Hey, this guy's a great big phony! Hey, you're a great big phony, you know that? That's right! You're a big fat phony! Hey, you know who lives in this house? A great big phony! So I'm a phony, you say? Well, let's figure out why. Okay. Do you think that someday mankind, by way of science and advanced technology, will be able to do things that, by today's standards, would be considered miraculous or even impossible? If you possess enough knowledge, the impossible becomes possible. Agreed. 200 years ago, we wouldn't have thought that going to the moon was possible, and yet we've been there. As our knowledge increases, the possibilities increase as well. And here comes another one. Today, uh, Mars is barren and dry. Do you think it could have been covered by water in the past? Not only could it, but science has shown that it was. Science has shown us that Mars actually had polar ice caps, and that there was certain conditions that ended up happening that made it become a barren wasteland. Yep, it looks like it. That is the worst answer ever. Okay, I have another one here. Do you think it's possible the Earth could have been covered with water in a global flood? Don't be ridiculous. I doubt there's any atheist who'd answer it just like that. They may say that, but then add on an explanation of why it sounds ridiculous. I mean, we can definitely get behind there being a global flood, but there has to be sufficient evidence for it. And we don't really see any sufficient evidence for a flood. Well, all right then, let's move on to something different. Do you think we can learn enough about brains and vocal cords that someday we can make an animal talk? No. That has to do with an evolutionary trait. And in order for that to happen, it would take millions of years and the animal would have to have a need for such a thing. We can't just, just try to learn as much as we can about brains and vocal cords and come up with a way to make animals speak. And I'm not seeing how this is proving that atheists are fake, so where are you getting at with all these questions? Oh yeah, absolutely. Seems like a straw man answer, but okay. Do you think then maybe Satan manipulated the serpent to speak? One has to prove the existence of Satan in order to be able to say whether or not he did anything of the sort. Uh, no, don't be ridiculous. Gotta love these short answers like he didn't even put any thought to it. Okay then, let me see if I can give you another one. Do you think we'll learn enough about the elements that we'll be able to turn lead into gold or make a hand out of thin air? No, that's completely nonsensical. Anybody who thinks that we can doesn't have a firm grasp on reality. Yes, if we learn enough, we'll be able to turn anything into anything. Your straw man answers are getting ridiculous now. Alright, now let's test the limits of our imagination. Do you think we'll ever travel to other dimensions and encounter foreign entities of different sorts? Or master the smallest building blocks of all things? Or even command large sections of space, like uh, gods? I don't know. I personally don't even know if I believe if the multiverse hypothesis is even plausible. So, I can't tell you that I know for sure. There's other people who may believe that it is. But I personally don't. Yes, even though there's no evidence for it, I have faith that the miraculous and the impossible are real. This sense here doesn't even make sense, and you're really starting to irritate me with these straw man atheist answers. He has faith in the unseen, as long as the unseen isn't God. I need proof. 
Atheism is nothing more than a temper tantrum thrown at God. Atheists are completely dishonest. They will accept anything, anything miraculous and unseen, as long as it's not the Bible. The Bible is the truth. God is real. You have not proven that atheists are fake. All you've done is created a straw man and then proceeded to knock it down. If you take 10 atheists and put them in the same room and ask them these questions, I'm pretty sure you'd get a few different answers. Some accept evolution and some don't. Some accept other scientific hypotheses and some don't. You've done nothing here except for create a straw man. All atheism is is a lack of belief in God or gods. You can't prove that we're faking that or that we're phonies about that. You would have to be us in order to figure out if we were lying that we don't believe in a god or gods. So, no. Anyways, that's it for this video, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. And always remember to stay frustrated.